Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. This is your captain speaking. We are in black and white, as we should be for our captain's logs. Ooh, uh, I like it. I apologize. I forgot about that. I forgot. You know, I didn't realize it was a thing I could do in this, so I'm glad that we are in black and white. It feels right. It feels good to be home. It feels good to be home. Uh, and we, the title of this one is The Witcher, Witcher. OP Cards, yep. and Sun's Origin. And we have one hour. One hour. We're ending at one ish. Like 101. Okay. So, The Witcher. Let's get into Go. it. Go. All right. So, you. Well, I know nothing. He knows nothing about The Witcher. Uh, he looks right now. Ready? Okay. Muted tones. Uh, slow motion, I believe. Uh, not Jim Caviezel, but Henry. Henry Cavill. Cavill. Henry Cavill. Uh, Henry Cavill. Slow and motion. Uh, I would guess, I would guess slow motion, but if not, oh no, okay, well, I would, I wish there was slow motion in it. There's probably some, there's probably some, but it's not like a, that's okay. not what I think of when I think okay. of the witch. Uh, I think of, uh, so my guess, let me tell you what I think the plot is, because I have no idea. It's called The Witcher. I think he's a, a guy that kills witches. Okay. It's a good guess. Okay. I think that he, he, ha I think he has a sword, pretty sure he's a big sword, and he kills it's like fantastical, so I'm gonna guess it's like monsters, uh, creatures, witches, castles, knights, because swords, bows, half, no, I'm just gonna have links. Um, yeah, and, and then this guy's like the, he's like a, like a bounty hunter, and he's you gotta kill, not a bounty hunter, um, Someone that's on a quest to go kill bad guys for some reason. I don't know the reason. I don't want to know the reason. So, right. so tell me. I'm gonna give you the the right without ruining the anything about points. the Witcher. Tell me about the Witcher. I'll, Why is it gonna be a good? I'll give you the, the premise of what the Witcher and is. Give me one of those pigs in a blanket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Because I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm famished. All right. So if you guys don't know, uh, I'm gonna try not to spoil anything from the show or what happens basically, but it's not gonna spoil too much because the oh. games have been out for a long time. And the books have been out for a while, well, and, and now there's a show. What was first? Books? Uh, yes. Actually, no, I think the game came first. The Witcher might be one of those things where the game came first, and then they did books, but I can't remember, okay. so I could be wrong. Um, but The Witcher is, it's a good guess. So The Witcher is basically, he's a guy, sort of like a bounty hunter, but they're specifically bounty hunters that hunt monsters. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so these could be any kind of mythical creature, um... Uh, or evil, evil or not evil. Huh? Typically evil, though, and they work for money. Um, they're mutants. So the Mandalorian in yes, Castle very Times. very Mando esque. Uh, it is like it is not medieval. It's fantasy, right? So there's monsters, there's magic, there's potions. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, but the Witchers they fight. Uh, they have two swords. They carry. There's two multiple swords. Witchers. Yes. So there's not many, but there are multiple witchers. It's a it's a job. The a witch to be a witcher is a job. Okay. But there aren't many of them because they're mutants. And they were mage. Oh, they were created. Sorry. So. Oh, okay, we got audio. Here we, we go. Two swords. Book. Right. First game, then show. Mitosis. You can always count on mitosis. Yeah. Book first, game, then show. Okay. So. Um, so they have to have two swords. They have two swords. They carry one steel sword. If they don't have a second sword, do they just quit? <laughs> <laughs> They're equipped with two swords. Okay. They have, they have a steel sword for this killing is, people. No, I'm Stop sorry. interrupting me. I'm sorry. Oh listen, my listen, god. Listen, <laughs> the Mandalorian. Are you so? Did the Mandalorian just steal everything? Because all I'm thinking is Mandalorian. Like they had this code, and they I had it's the, the very different. It's my armor. Very and, different. Uh, very yes. different. Okay, go on. Okay, I want to know if so. Their witchers are way more like. Just focused on money, but also that's not the point of the movie. Which, of the movie, but no. historically, that's what this is what they are. But they have a steel sword for killing people, and then they have a silver sword for killing, of course, uh, bad like evil vampires. creatures, vampires, right. werewolves, all those other things, right? No. Um, so Geralt is a Witcher. He's the main character. So Geralt is a confirmed character in the set. Um, I'll read the. The announcement here. If you guys haven't seen the announcement on yeah, the rest spoilers. Of the if you don't want to hear this, it's it's already out then there. Leave. It's public. 
but, but it's come confirmed. Ba- come back in like I don't know ten minutes. I don't know when. There's, I mean, there's almost zero way that it's coming out this year. It would be awesome if it's coming out this year. Um, but there's a couple main characters in the Witcher series. One is Siri, who's a young girl who kind of ends up tagging along with Geralt. I don't want to spoil too much. Um, she's another confirmed character. Um, but she is very powerful. Um, and Geralt is kind of like her protector. What ends up happening? Geralt's the main character. He is a Witcher, and he's who you play as in the game, and he's like the main character in the books. And mm-hmm. whatever. Legolas hair. He does have long white. They all have white hair, like long white hair ish. I think there's maybe a couple that have not, but Draco Malfoy's dad hair. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but I don't like Harry Potter. They're really they're Witchers are really powerful. Um, they can use some like light magic, but they're mainly known for their sword and. Uh, sword skills, and they're pretty strong because they're mutated. Um, their reflexes are well, super... Spoiler! Reflexes are pretty, uh... uh like... Superhuman. Really, like, superhuman reflexes and, and light use superhuman strength. Not like... I feel like absolutely. the only way to show that accurately would be with slow motion. So, there are some things that are in the show. It's a good show. Uh, the action is pretty brutal. Which, I, it's, it shows that witchers are very, like, they're not flashy, but they're very, like, efficient with their movements and the way that they fight and they but they're brutal they'll yeah they'll do some pretty crazy stuff with a sword but it's, it's cool. pretty awesome um so yeah let's go ahead and read the announcement for people spoilers right. starting now here it comes so today rest this was november 29th so this was like a month ago and we completely missed over a month ago a month and a half we completely missed it not we so I just forgot to tell them about it. <laughs> so Restoration Game and uh, Restoration Games announced two upcoming sets for the unmatched game line featuring heroes from the exciting world of the Witcher video game series. The two sets are titled Steel and Silver, so that'll be like Witchers and stuff. It's too nice, right? And Realms Fall. Uh, so they're in the Witcher world. There's like that whole Witcher thing, which is what it's about. But in the world around them, there's this like war going on. Um, okay. Each set will include three playable hero decks and two unique battlefields. In addition to the White Wolf himself, which is Geralt, the White Wolf, fans of The Witcher will be thrilled to lead Ciri to her destiny as the Lady of Space and Time, which I can't remember who that... I'm assuming that's Yennefer. Yennefer is a... Uh, she's a witch, witch, or a mage, I think is what they call them in the, in the world. Uh Quaff a tiny owl potion, which is like something you make in the game, and race across the battlements of Kaer Morin to stop your foe. Kaer Morin is where the witchers, it's a castle where the witchers live. Okay. In our ongoing mission to bring the most exciting worlds to the unmatched lines, uh, we went after this license like, well, a witcher on the trail of a fearsome foe, said Justin D. Jacobson, president of Restoration Games. Cool. The witcher brings so much to the game, a rich fantasy setting, unique heroes, and some of the best villains unmatched has ever seen. Cool. Which means, which means there will probably be. Could you do a TTA with it? Or no? Is it not? So, that's the question. Are there some big monsters? I'm assuming there's some big monsters, some big baddies, like Lord of the Rings. Okay, let's just, let's just use that for an example. Mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings would be a great set. Mm-hmm. And guess who you'd fight? You'd fight the Balrog and Sauron and Saruman and yeah, Smog. Smog. Oh yeah, it does Smog. I was thinking um, not hot, not hot. Yeah, I was, I was going creatures. That's all I was going on. Sure, sure. Because uh, of size and whatnot. But yeah, so, okay, so Witcher. You, you could, what if you just kept listening like bad guys for like an hour? There's a lot. Like, and, <laughs> and? Okay, and, not, and, and this, and this. It's um, a dragon. So they've announced that it's it's going to be two sets that are each are going to have three playable heroes. So I'm thinking it's m- probably not going to be a Tales to a or not a, a, a Unmatched Adventures. Um, no, I know. I know that these two are not. I'm saying, would they? Do you think that it's like <clears throat> okay? This IP is so good, they can ex- they can expand it into TTA. Make some. Oh, just make some. Uh, I see boss fight sets for Witcher specifically. Potentially, yeah. Be, it, could, it could be like a, a. They could release a map, a Witcher map, with a bunch of minions. And, with minions it'd be and perfect. villains, it would be and then perfect you, and you throw in the Witcher heroes. That's a good way to do. They can do it with all the all the things. all the big IPs. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I because Witcher has a lot of little minion like bad guys that you fight that are nasty, but they're not like the big bad. I mean, we dropped um, twenty. We dropped twenty bucks easy on a 
Oh. Uh, monster monster pack with new maps? 100 easily. Yeah. Um, Not 100. $20. So we got Steel and Silver, which I'm assuming is going to be Witcher sets. So you're probably going to have Geralt, who's the main dude. Right. You'll probably have Ciri, who she's kind of like a Witcher in training. Okay. Um, and then the only other Witcher that's like a, a major, pretty major character is Vesemir, who's like the, he's like an old, like wise Witcher. Guy. My guess, yeah, my guess would be this: that they would have, like, you're not gonna put Iron Man, Hulk, and Captain America in the same set. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, Witcher main guy is in is, is in one set for sure. Definitely students. Whoever whoever next main character is, different set, is what I would think. And then hmm. I would say they could go, you know, next, next, and then maybe a baddie and a baddie. Like that hmm. would make sense, right? So you have the two guys fighting the good guy, but they still look like against, against each other. Yeah. Yeah, the steel and silver may involve the some monsters. That's the other thing. So hmm. Realms Fall may include Siri and then two other people. Um I don't know. There's a lot of... Okay, so there's a lot of really interesting characters. I don't want to talk too much about this. We have, what, maybe five more minutes on this topic? Yeah, it's up to you. So, speculation. Geralt and Siri definitely confirmed. The way I could see it being was is either Geralt, Siri, and then a monster. Uh, like, the probably the Wild Hunt is who I would think. That makes They're sense. They're like a big, bad okay. uh, guy that are trying to kill Siri. Um, Thematically, it's, it would be a little weird just because if you actually are... Like, you're going to be fighting what? You're fighting Siri with Geralt? Does that make sense? Uh, oh, don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. That, that feels like too much information. Okay. Uh, I won't tell you, but... Because I feel like they love each other. I mean... Don't say anything. I <laughs> what, do you want, what do you want from me? Nothing. Okay. I want no answers. <laughs> okay. So, we got Geralt, Siri, and... Potentially Wild Hunt. It's who I would think, but All maybe right. not. Alright, the next set was called? Next, so next set's called Realms Fall. So, there's this whole war that's going on. Between Sintra, Realm. which is like the good guy, the, the generally considered to be the good guys, and then you've got Nilfgaard, who are the bad guys. Okay. Um, and then, as well, there's a third, which makes me think you might have one representative from each of these nations. So, you might oh, have... Oh, interesting. Okay. Right, so you have three people. So you might have Kalanthe from Sintra. She's not, she's not like a huge character... But Siri might also be the person of Sentra. Okay. So she's from Sentra. So, um, Kalanthe or Siri potentially. Um, and then you've got Nilfgaard, who... Nilfgaard, I forget what the guy's name is, but I think he's... There's, like, they have, like, an emperor guy. who I forget his name off the top of my head, but he might be... He's a fantastic villain. Okay. Um, and then um, you have elves. Who are like a third nation who are kind of like uh, there's a lot of racism against elves in in the Witcher series. Okay. Um, so you might have one of the elven characters. There's a few that you could that you could potentially hmm. see. Um, and then there's some other side characters. So you've got Yaskier. He's a pretty major character in the Witcher series. He's a he's a uh, a minstrel. He's like a traveling yeah, like a traveling minstrel guy. Um, and he sings songs about Geralt, basically. Okay. So I could see Geralt having a sidekick being Yaskier. Although, historically, Geralt is a solo dude. Um, and Ciri might also... She's a pretty major character, but I could also see her potentially being a sidekick for Geralt and being like a pretty important sidekick. Um, but yeah. Keep going to that, because I'm going to look my question. Keep parts. going? Okay. Um, but yeah... Comment below what you guys think. All right, um, so so here you go. Here you go. Oh, okay. Uh, ability. Abilities for, oh, the, abilities for the characters that you think are definitely mm -hmm. in it. Uh, Geralt, mm -hmm. Siri, and whatever. Okay, so Geralt. So let's start with Geralt, because he's probably the one I'm most familiar with. Um, so there's two things off the top of my head. The, the Witcher game, which is really what it's known for, um, you... There's, you spend a lot of time kind of kitting out and equipping Geralt with specific potions and weapons and equipment, and uh, uh, you ha you use different uh, signs as well, which are like these light little magic spells that you can cast. 
Um, so the, I, I see Geralt being maybe one of two things. So he might have his steel sword and his silver sword, which I could see functioning similar to Jill Trent, but maybe with different abilities, where maybe at the start of your turn, you activate your steel sword or your silver sword. Um, and depending on who you're fighting, um, you know, or uh, what uh, sword you have active, you might have a different ability. So like the silver sword may cause all of your enemy's values to be like your, your uh, whatever it's called, like your opponent's values to be minus one or something like that. Um, but that's, that's kind of what I would see. And then the other thing is these different signs. So Geralt has these little pan things that he does where he, he can like do a little pulse backwards ard, which is like a really powerful one. He's got Igni, so he can light stuff on fire. He's got a few, he's got Axie, which is like a cool, like a peace thing where he can kind of calm things down. So that'd be really cool is if he had maybe some schemes, maybe some unique scheme cards, which allow him to perform those signs at various times in the battle. Um, you know, Axie might be able to shut down your opponents, like your opponent can't attack you next turn or something like that. Um, or first action, they can't attack you next turn or something. You know, so there's a lot of cool things you could do with Geralt because of his like equipment and stuff that he uses. Um, but those are the two things that I've seen, either using maybe a sign um, or uh, using his switching between his two swords, the steel sword and the silver sword. Um, Siri, um, she can. I don't want to spoil too much if you. I'm only saying, don't just go for it. Okay. But, but just warn them. Yeah, warn them that there's spoilers and stuff for the Witcher universe. Um, Siri has some magical power, but she's also training to be a. <laughs> my my Siri just turned on. That's so funny. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, yes, Owen, what would you like? <laughs> yeah, so uh, she might be able to like blast some people back. So she has this, she's kind of known for this thing where she screams and she can kind of create this blast, this powerful blast and uh, destroy things. Um, and she, I don't know, I can't think of, I don't really know what her special ability would be. It might be something like that where she can move all fighters like one space away from her or something like that um, and blast them back but uh, she's probably gonna both of them will be melee uh, almost a hundred percent so be kind of difficult to I don't know how that ability that ability wouldn't really benefit her um, geez yeah I don't really I don't really know what, what I can't think of what Siri's special ability would be, which is, it kind of makes me think that she might be a sidekick for Geralt. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see what we see. Um, and she is a main character, and I know she is confirmed as a character, but we don't know if she's going to be a hero or a sidekick. So, um, or maybe we do, and I'm just unaware. <laughs> um, and then uh, Yennefer is probably another character that we will see. I know I didn't mention her in either of the two sets, but she's a... A main character in in this show she's a mage so she'll probably be ranged um and she'll probably i don't know a lot of things that sh she does a lot of like portaling around um she's and she's kind of also like uh she's very i don't want to <laughs> i don't know to to put it delicately she's kind of a sweet talker um so there may be something in her uh and maybe Yaskier. Yaskier might also be her her sidekick just to include him in the game because they don't really like each other but they kind of develop a an understanding um and so i don't know it'd be, it'd be interesting i don't know how you would really do yennefer she i feel like she'd be more of a solo she's very kind of like a go it alone person um but she'd be really power i think she would be really powerful um, and I think she probably have some teleporting. Uh, that's just off the top of my head. Um, what villains are you looking for? Last last thing. Villains I'm looking for are. I think uh, I think the Wild Hunt would be super cool. Um, 
there's a there's a like they said there's a lot of great villains in the Witcher series, uh, not just monsters that Geralt fights and that you fight as an, or fight against in the games, um, but also uh, that are trying to hunt <laughs> hunt you down. Um, so Wild Hunt I think would be awesome. Um, that would be probably a multi hero because Wild Hunt's made up of several. Pack. It's kind of a pack of. Wolves. Skeletal figures. That <laughs> it's pretty cool. cool. Um, uh, and then other villains. Man, there's a... Dijkstra might be one. Dijkstra's like this other mage who's kind of like a scheming, conniving piece of garbage who I don't, I don't like very much, personally. Um, and then some Nilfgaardian. There's, some, there's a few Nilfgaardian characters um, whose names I am having difficulty remembering but um all right yeah so it's gonna be a good set i'm excited for I mean, it. i'm super excited for it cool as a witcher um yeah uh, so we are gonna at some point we're gonna watch the show um and watch I'll watch it with courtney I'll watch yeah it. i'll watch it by myself because uh gotta respect my wife so definitely together be aware there is some yeah i can't recommend it for all all people yes, all ages we'll say that um for sure uh, what I hear is there's nudity and stuff, sex scenes. I'm not sure exactly. So I have no idea what's in there. Can't like fully um, recommend it, but I have a projector. I created this thing where I get to uh, pull down a football, a little string then, with a football, and then a blocker comes up and blocks the screen. So uh, keeps me safe, keeps my wife safe, keeps people in the room safe. We're good to go. You can watch the thing. Sometimes, sometimes it makes it worse because you can just hear noises. <laughs> <laughs> but it ends up being kind but of yeah, just like. Uh, so not for everybody. Um, use discretion. So next topic. OP cards. OP cards. It'd be so cool to turn on the hand cams right now, but it's all right. Um, we'll just have... listen. We can turn on the hand cams, but I have this up. up. This was up. Yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, so I figured we would do. Oh, actually, we've got spoilers. We want Back spoilers for the cards, right? Oh yeah, we don't want any spoilers. Not that we, we can. You can see the card oh, backs. But, uh, oh boy. I, I I literally, I might like yours better at some some points, but we have no overlap, guys. Interesting. This is really weird. Oh man, I mean, I know what yours are. Right. Um. Yeah, I know what yours are. Do you, you know what mine are? I'm assuming. Well, I don't. You have two from the same person, so I'm not sure. Yeah. The, yes, I do know what they are. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, those are massive. Okay, so then why don't we do our number? Go f number five, four, f three, two, one. Yeah, let's go five, four, three, two, one, and you start. Oh, real quick, honorable mentions that did not make the cut. Okay. Uh, I have a few. I don't know, and you, you might not. No, you know what? We did that. On, that was the last episode. We ran through all, all oh. the cards. Do you have? Do you really want to talk about it? Yeah. Uh, number my number eight was do my bidding. I okay. think that's a super like it right. was so broken, and it still is, and people just forget about it. Do my bidding's an insanely good card. Yeah, it's a, a Dracula card where you, when you attack, and then Dracula gets to, to look at your hand and choose Put a card for you a to different play. card to, for you to, to play with oh I forgot another card that could honestly be here as well but do my bidding and then also the uh, the winter soldier boosting defense card right um, complete the mission complete the mission oh That's my gosh dude so strong These, those are two of the best defenses in the game yeah as far as just like controlling what you have so much control right as far as what happens uh, and then Mississippi Queen also insanely good card oh so but yeah like so busted, strong completely busted card um, uh, super strong. You play that first action on defense as as a uh, and you're getting Annie, low. and you can't you literally can't die yep. uh, or against their first attack and then you can just take whatever. What um, is the next attack? The reason I didn't include that in the top five is because you can. There's a lot of auto damage ways that you can kind of get around. And that. early game it clogs up your hand massively. Yeah, that's the other thing too. It's yeah. kind of inconvenient. Uh, and then number six, my the one that just did make the cut was one that you definitely have is tactical remote scanning. Hmm, which what's that? Is uh, we'll, we'll 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 let you talk about it. But. Uh, All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. you go first. No, no it's you, you you go first. You, I just talked for like right, twenty minutes. I'll <laughs> give my honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. Every card that he has in his. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's definitely fair. I think. Okay, you're I think right. we're probably pretty similar. Yeah. Uh, um, Omega level threat. Okay, one. here's an honorable mention. Really uh, it's uh, no, the uh, um, the what's his name. He gets angry, he turns green. She Hulk? No. Oh. Um, no. He gets angry and turns green? What are you talking Dr. about? Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Uh, oh. Forever Hyde. So, Forever Hyde 
is a is an honorable mention. It can be the biggest attack. The biggest attack. But and that but is a caveat, which is you it's just hard to pull off. It's hard it's it's hard to have the right cards to get to use. Uh so it's it's just yeah, but it can be the biggest. Um and then uh yeah, I mean I, there's I a bunch in here. Yeah, there's I'm some sure yeah, all your all five years. So go for it. Alright, so my number five. Set the stage. Uh, how do you want me to play? Right like, there. Like this? Perfect. Nope. No, no. The other way you had it was perfect. This way? Just like that. Mm, okay. Yeah, right All right, there. so set the stage. So this is a Houdini card, and I don't really know why you would play the card ever, because the boost <laughs> effect is so good. So it's a boost, too. So you can use it for damage if you would like in addition to its effect, but it says look at your opponent's hand and choose a card for them to discard. So Houdini, also for those of you who don't know, when he boosts a maneuver, he can place himself in any space. So really what this card is, is it's a scheme, if you think about it, it's a scheme that Houdini can play, which says, it's basically draw a card because you have to maneuver to play it. Mm -hmm. So draw a card, place Houdini in any space, Yep. Or draw a card, look at your opponent's hand, choose a card for them to discard, and then place Houdini in any space. So there's three things that you're doing basically when you play this card. You're drawing for your maneuver, you're placing Houdini wherever, typically right next to the hero, and then ripping a card out of their hand that you get to choose. So, so, so good. Um, because really what this is used for is taking the best defense out. All right. Um, but it has, it's or also only defense, like, or the last yeah, one. Yeah. And it's just, and then Houdini will hit you for up to nine damage potentially. Yeah. Um, and then it's a pretty versatile card as well. You can, like, if you need to boost it on defense, you can and take their attacks and, and use it to boost some of Houdini's defenses. Yeah. It's really, uh, it's great for, for, for setting up. It's, what he's gonna do. it's such a good card and paired with Houdini. That's all my cards are kind of paired with the fighter. So mm -hmm. set the stage. My number five. Really, really strong card. All right, so um, I might be missing some cards. Uh, I did. I definitely looked for Genie, but I couldn't even find his deck, so I don't know where that is. But Three Wishes, honorable mention, because that's three just wishes such a, a good card. Such a good card. Um, we have a bunch of honorable mentions in the last. Yeah, game. yeah, we did. Um, I think for mine, mine will be. Let's go with this one first. I'll okay. go with this one. It's super strong. Um, super, super strong. So this is Muldoon's call for backup. Uh, this is huge because you have three workers. Uh, you don't have that much defense. You only have 12 defenses, I think it is, something like that. Um, yeah, I think so. And you only have three workers. The range, your whole team is ranged, so that's pretty awesome. But what you're doing is you're body blocking with these workers, using your traps to keep people away. So you're just trying to keep people at bay the whole time. They kill your workers. When all three workers are dead, you play this. You have two copies of it. You get to revive three of your workers. So then you have a total of nine workers, which means that there are nine attacks. If you position well enough, there are nine cards that they have to play that will never even touch you, Muldoon. Um, I think that's, that's awesome. And then you can also use it to drop traps if you need or draw cards if you need. There are certain times that you actually want to do that um so it's just a great card it's an incredible card very versatile looks great too that's not what we're talking about but and it's a pass and it's a pass also it's a pass yeah. really good which is very important for Muldoon because his traps will draw him cards mm -hmm. so it's important definitely very good card that's my number five all right my number four and there's an argument that this could also be considered this could probably go higher but i have it here for reasons um the Rings of Ragador. Uh, this is a Doctor Strange card, um, and probably his best attack. Not necessarily his strongest in terms of face value, but has the highest potential for health differential change. Yep. So if you look at it, it's a four value attack that says after combat, if you won the combat, your fighter and each friendly fighter adjacent to them recover health equal to the damage dealt. Um, so this is stopped by value blocks by and by feints. Um, however, with Doctor Strange's ability, 
he can freely cycle this and play this card essentially as many times as he would like. He can yeah. place this on the bottom and get to it again. And it is a very safe card for him to play uh, and attack with because at the worst, you know, he's he's taking one damage to, to put this back and, and get a chance at healing again, right? Mm -hmm. But if he plays this and deals one point of damage, he's getting a free cycle of this card. He's dealing a damage to you, he's healing for one, and then doing a damage to himself to put it back. So he's net basically just doing one damage to you for a free card. He's free just doing one damage to you. Now, worst case scenario for the opponent, best case scenario for Strange, Doctor Strange is going crazy. He's attacking you. He's running you out of cards, as, as we all know he can. And he attacks you with this, and you have no defense. This is basically a Gaze of Stone, where he's doing eight. It's a it's a health swing of eight, where he's, yeah. he's dealing four damage to you, and then healing for four. And then he'll probably cycle it again and get another card back in right. there. So the... This makes Strange so dangerous because not only can he basically go infinite, he can also heal infinitely. Because well, of and, this card. And because of this, every every attack needs to be respected. Every attack needs to be addressed yeah. by the opponent because it could be this card, yeah. and it could just if you take one of these to the face, basically it's game over. Every attack outside of the first one. Sure, outside of like the first few. Yeah. If he's at full health, but even even then, you it's have like, thrown some at me when it was like you've got one health off. But if it's the only attack I have, like that's the yeah. thing. It's so it's on the bottom of your deck. You heal up. Yeah, it's it's pretty, and then you get your card back. It's, yeah, it's a great card. It's, it's an great. amazing, amazing, amazing card. And in the strange package is what makes it. Um, it is a strange. And package. you heal Wong with it too if he's next to you. Right. Yeah. The the heal and Wong can throw it if yeah. he needs to. So yeah. it's it's great. Um. Okay. So. Let's go with. I'm gonna go with this one right here. Mm. That is n not actually the card I thought it was. Which card do you think it was? I thought it was Polyphase, but oh yeah, Polyphase is, is really great. I respect this as well. So I think this is the the card because it's a four value versatile card on a ranged fighter. Yeah. That for only one coil. You get to well. First of all, you automatically you just get to see what they what they have on the top of their deck. Yep. Great. Knowledge is power. You see what they have. One coil. You get to discard that card. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's efficient. awesome. So, so if you play this on defense, which is a great card for defense. Yeah. You can and let's say they attack with whatever doesn't matter what number they attacked with below, uh, you know, five, four below. You play this. You already blocked it. You don't need the value. You just discard the card. Take it out of there. Uh, if they attack with a higher number. Well, look at this. Yeah, the second you use two coils, and you're gonna add that boost value to that card. Certain fighters, this can go up to. I mean, this can go up to eight. Eight. So it can go up to a lot. Yeah. Um. So not that's good. massive. Yeah. So then, if you attack with it, and and you use you can use it to get them to discard. Same thing. Spend the coils. Get the boost value. It's just it's cool because it's a, it's a you get to decide. You get to see mm -hmm. the card first, and then decide what you want to do with it. Very, it's such a versatile card. Very. So uh, I like that. It's a, for a rage fighter, super important. And it pushes the other person closer to fatigue. Right. It's a more efficient two for one because you're not taking a card from their hand that they've already drawn. Right. You're taking a card that they could draw. Exactly. Which is making it harder for them to yep. last longer. So uh, yeah, I definitely agree. Really, really, really strong card. Okay. This is where it gets tricky. Um, Yeah, I think probably we'll do this one next. Right? I have a lot of schemes. And if we want to get to Suns, we're going to need to... Yeah, we got to push. we got to go. So, uh, Mesmerize. So, we... If you've been playing a match long enough, you're definitely familiar with the whole... The entire Electra package um, and the whole revive scenario. But if you're not familiar, um, basically Electra has two lives... And which is why she's hated so much, and she has essentially two decks of 20 cards. So, yeah, really annoying. But basically, she can draw into the perfect hand and set up for a perfect combo turn. Um, and have two, she has two copies of this. And when it's her second life, which is this red text, she not only does the white text, but also the red text when she comes back. So, she comes back at nine health. 
Mm-hmm. All of her sidekicks, of which she has four, come back. And then it's on your turn, you maneuver boost in, surround the opponent, and then you double mesmerize, where you look at choose an opponent, look at their hand, yep. gain an action, yep. and then you choose and you also choose a card for them to discard. Right. So you maneuver boost in, you get rid of two of their cards. Best defenses. Two of their best defenses. Usually. If it's a feint, you know, you're you're taking two cancels basically. And then you use the hands attack where you basically just go boom, 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 boom. You do three three value attacks, typically un yep. unblocked, or maybe one is blocked. Or a couple are blocked, and then you run them out, you still have the extra action. And then maybe Electra even you run them out of defenses with the hand card, and then Electra attacks you with a six. Yeah. And so you took, you know nine damage. Th- probably twelve yeah. at least. Uh, you probably took well nine plus six, you probably took fifteen damage there. If with, the, be, if, with if, the full electric combo, if, yeah, three hand and then Electra. So, it's it, it's an absolutely insane card to include in Electra's package. Um, the fact that she has two of these and can just basically make sure that they're in her hand mm-hmm. when she comes back to life. Well, and, and if she's going for fatigue, then she can also do it. So she can play it and then take out your damage. She can take out whatever whatever. Whatever she doesn't want you to have, she just gets rid of she it. So whatever the win con is for her, so yeah, yeah definitely a problem. The action gain is cool. It's it's not a pass. I mean, it, n- a net sort of is because you're getting rid of an opponent card. Mm-hmm. It's not really a pass, but it's a uh, very very strong card in the in the Electra package. Yeah, uh, and just it's it's like the most the way the way I picked a lot of these cards is like the most like when you throw up your hands, you, you this card is played against you. Yeah, and you're just like well. Okay, whatever. You know, there's nothing I can do at this mm-hmm, point. Mm-hmm. Um, and mesmerize is definitely one of those. So I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with this one next. Mm-hmm. So this is just a classic. Okay, this is the card that we all know. Yeah, that that put like busted cards on the map. That was like the card that that people thought were too too strong. This is the OG, one of them. Um, and it's a six value attack. First off, mm-hmm. that's great. It's incredible. By six itself. value by itself, awesome. It is a four value boost. Also okay. very useful. Also very useful, um, especially if someone's trying to like change your attack to your boost or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it is. During combat, you can discard as many cards from your hand as you want to to add plus one to your attack. So if so, this is the card that you want to faint. Well, guess what? If you faint it, then you're taking four damage. If you're throwing an imagination like one of those cards, you're taking three damage. That's huge, huge damage, huge value, and you get you have to get any rid of any cards from your hand. You're happy with it. Uh, if they did not faint it. This is the card that you can confirm lethal more than any other card where you are just like, all right, they have nine health. Cool. I have I can win. Yeah. Next time I get <laughs> right. to next time I get to attack them, I win the game. Because I'm gonna go boom. I know they can only block for you just three. Pick, what what body can they block Probably for? Right? Usually four. They can block for this much. Alright, yeah. so they can block for four max. Well then I just need to get this much damage over their health. And if I have seven cards in my hand. Uh, that's the thing. Let's, let's say the yeah. Let's, let's say that they. So you have six, including this one. Right, six, including that one, because it's most. That's most likely. And let's say they ended adjacent to you, because it's a really cool world. It's uh, a twelve. Okay, so they. <laughs> so you so you bite them. You draw another card. So now you have eight in your hand. Right. Okay. All right. So then and then you. This boom. is one of the eight. Right. You do that, and, and you're sitting. You're sitting on the uh, on the scheme in. Uh, um, <laughs> in uh, uh, Sanctum Sanctorum, right? Where so you, you draw, draw three. three I put one on the bottom, and then you attack. So now you're sitting at... <laughs> you have nine cards in hand so in addition this a, to this. This is a 15 value attack, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, the possibilities are endless. Uh, it's great. You want you want The first one you throw, you actually want fainted. You get that four damage. The next one you throw, you go for lethal. Well, let's just see. The highest, Boom. in general, like most people's max value block is four. Right. And so, and this is a six. And let's say you have... Uh, six cards in hand in addition to this one. So, like, a, it's a 12, right? Yeah. Uh, that confirms lethal then eight. at eight health. Yeah. Wow. Right. They're eight. They're at eight health, and they don't have any feints. They're dead. It's a very it's, different game that Dracula plays, it's and it's a crazy. really fun game. Super fun. 
And I've not played him in a long time, and I want to right now. That that I agree, and that is probably one that could be in my list. But I love Dragon Man. All right, this is tough. Um, I think though we're gonna go. We'll go ahead and play this. So not play this, but show this. <laughs> so uh, this is the card that when uh, what's it called? For King, for King and Country was announced, and they yeah. showed Winter Soldier for the first time. Right. Everyone in the Unmatched community was like in an uproar. Lost they were minds. like, "What the heck? Yeah, because this card, sh- this character should not be allowed." Right. Sorry, because uh, because Daredevil had already come out, right? Dare- and Daredevil was already considered by some. It was a problem to be like. We were annoyed. Super with him. toxic. The, the the fact that someone could go infinite was, at all was was annoying. Yeah, and then Winter Soldier came out. And now and you had, can go infinite, guaranteed. You had three copies they, of it. They have three copies. It's versatile. It's a versatile. It can't be canceled. And he gets to choose. It can't be canceled, and he gets to choose which cards in his what? discard pile come back. Yeah. What? Like it's it's the the idea of this card in a card in a in a deck that can't right. be canceled, no right. effects can be canceled, right. is just ludicrous. It's a thirty card deck too. And it's a thirty card deck. It's not a twenty two card deck or whatever Daredevil has. So. Now, Winter Soldier, as we all know, is not as busted as he Correct. appears to be. Okay. Still very, very strong. Yeah. And by some consider to be in the top, you know, five or whatever. I disagree with we No are. way. Some be- I'm sure some people do. No. Top ten. Maybe. Top fifteen. Top twenty. I think he's probably top fifteen, maybe top twenty. But like He could definitely in my opinion. Th- any any infinite fighter can easily can win anything. Win right. You can win. Yeah. 50% of your games instantly they're on the clock no matter what right. right it turns every other person into the T-Rex into an ag- exactly that's right? so awesome it forces you to go okay I have to kill this guy like as soon as possible I have to go off yeah so this card though is just the, the impact it has on the game is just insane and playing around it and having to deal with it so um, yeah speaking of recursion <laughs> so this is the other the other one this is the Daredevil one uh, and the the reason why I like this one, so there's so many things. Uh, it, it's a four. First off, it's a four. Um, when that card, when this card comes out, it's way scarier than when that card comes out. Uh yeah. Which is which is interesting. Um, yeah. I think because when you're fighting Daredevil, you know that he has to get like three off. If he gets three off, he's in a good. Then you're in spot. trouble. Yeah. Um, the other part that this is is that if your deck is empty, which you can time this out a you lot, you can easily do this. Easily time this out. It becomes an eight. So that's a huge hit. Huge hit, and you're getting the recursion. You got four cards coming in. Um, it's an awesome card. Uh, yeah, I, th- I, th- I think when that card comes out, you are always disappointed if you didn't faint it. Oh, 100%. It is, it is the worst feeling when, when you don't stop Daredevil's oh. infinite, infinite. And even if you do, what, what's great with Daredevil is depending on how you're playing with him, you can blind boost it. So if, even if they do faint it, you okay, okay, fine, screw you. I'll I'll blind boost it and right. do you four damage. Right. Over the top. So really good card. Or you can breathe it back in and throw it again. Um, the threat of this card is, is very, very intense. And you can guarantee it's higher than an eight sometimes. If there's only one card left in deck yep. and you only have two in hand, yep. you can blind boost the eight and make it a 11 potentially. Right. Um, yeah, great card. Um, and then finally, my number one is another Doctor Strange card. Uh no, really, I'm a doctor. So it's a scheme. I have a lot of schemes, but I think schemes are super impactful. Uh, reveal It says, reveal a card from your hand and put it on top of your deck. Doctor Strange or a friendly fighter adjacent to him recovers health equal to that card's boost value. So, um, I thought, by the way, I thought that your, because of the double pass, I knew this was in there. Mm-hmm. I thought the other one might have been your other double pass. I have Agamotto. Mm-hmm. So other, it's another really, really good card. This is a healing double pass, though. Right. Um, and I I'm, saying this, I'm saying instead of that one. Yeah, it's it's worth mentioning. I do think rings is more impactful and important, but also can have a huge bigger effect. Right. And it's easier to get off, honestly. Uh, but no, really, I'm a doctor. We call it a double pass because normally what a pass is, you play a scheme, and you don't draw any cards, and that basically just nullifies one of your actions for the turn, which yep. is great in fatigue. Um. What this does is you're playing a scheme, you're not drawing any cards, and you're healing for probably three, three health uh, health back, Um, and then 
you're taking that card and putting it back into your deck. So you're playing a card and actually net playing zero cards. So that's what's crazy about it is you're actually net just removing an action from your turn, that turn, which is even better than a pass. So it's essentially like playing two passes. It's similar to like a Vanish. Mm -hmm. uh, if you play Vanish on turn one as Invisible Man, but this is even better. This is a heal three Vanish. Mm -hmm. um, and that, I mean, the, and then you're healing for three, which is basically another two turns in Fatigue. So you're healing right. for two and then one more. That one point right. of health in Fatigue is huge. So you could even call this potentially a triple, like pseudo triple, but really a double pass. Mm. Um, and he has two copies of this, which is absolutely yep. insane. Yep. And then he, on top of that, he has two more double passes. So he has essentially eight passes in the game, and some of them heal him. Yep. So absolutely busted card in his deck as if he needed any more healing or <laughs> fatigue. No question here, fellas. Oh my gosh. No question. Not at all. This card... I can't wait to see what Mitosis is. ...is absolutely the most busted card in the game. Tear him to shred. <laughs> Tear him to shreds, Mitosis. Because you, you just... You just play... You play the scheme. You drop the scheme down. Doesn't matter where you are. And I get the top two cards from your deck. Merry Christmas to me. I just get them. It, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I just get them. And I've got two copies of this. So as long as she stays alive. This is why if she dies, if you get if you get no scheme off, you've lost. Yes. If you get one off, 50-50. If you get two off, you win. That's pretty much how Black Panther goes in most of his matchups. None, you lose. One, 50-50. <coughs> two, you won. So uh, this card is awesome. I get two of your cards. I, I almost don't care what I get. Because I, I get to use your cards if I want to. I don't have to, but usually I get to, like I can. I can use it for defense, whatever. Mm. Um, and then you, you're now two cards less in, in deck. So it's it just it feels so good. Mm -hmm. it's and the it best feels so ever. bad. Like no, I I 100 agree. This is one of the most busted cards in the game. Uh, I don't think it's top five because of the. There's a pretty good chance that you're not going to get something key or good. Right, you're pulling it out of a deck. I'm playing a numbers cards. game. I want ten of your cards. Um, I mean, the, and there's a yeah, there's a. If I get ten of your cards, chance, you're gonna get something, something good, good there. Yeah. Um, but the Shuri scheme is so it, everyone just calls it the Shuri scheme. It's so annoying. Um, <sighs> and the yeah. fact that you can also just take my key cards, even if I have like a recursion character, you can take my key cards and then hold them so that I can't recur. Right. Right. I don't so, have to boost with it. I'll just make you look at it the whole game on my side. It's so annoying. Yeah, uh, playing Dracula, you get his beast form. Oh my gosh, boost with four? Four. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah he took his best card. Dracula has a lot of high boost um, Yeah, it's, it's great. Um, well, let's... There it is. Well, yeah, so no, let's uh, let's talk about Suns now. So that yeah. was that was well, fun. Uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, let us know what you guys think. Mitos has said, no, the eight overrides all... Top 10s use just no, the eight over. I think maybe he's... I'm not sure if he's saying that, that the... He didn't like... I'm not sure what you're saying. You gotta clarify more. Sorry, I'm, I'm missing a lot of your comments. Um, he loves. Oh yeah, Budapest Gambit. He thought it should be up here. Um, yeah, it's oh, really good, but it's not. It's not busted. It's not like. Oh, and, and uh, my toast is saying no. He wins a lot of double scheme games. So people people double scheme <laughs> with Shuri. <laughs> he hey, it's his mission. He definitely can. He is the Witcher towards uh, Black Panther. His goal is to kill. He him. wants to hunt down every Black Panther player and beat them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Sun's Origin, we we just played it last night for the first time. Pretty good amount. We played five games. Yeah. We, we swapped back and forth. We tried swapping different things. Mm -hmm. Tom, Tomoe mm -hmm. won one game. And then, yeah, I think it was me. Oda, you, it was you. <laughs> Oda won And it was four. barely. And it was barely. It was Tomoe, Tomoe barely, barely won, won it. Because you one made health one. one you think you it was one health. It's yeah. because I attacked... It was it was it was very late. I attacked with the wrong guard, who was not in Oda's zone. Oda was, not, Oda's zone. Zone. So Oda was not in the try zone. I had him, I had Oda's position carefully. You swapped them, and I was correctly. curious about why you did that. Because I wanted Oda not in your zone. Oh, I see. You didn't it was want great. Yeah. And then I chose the wrong guy. Yeah, you attacked like the a wrong. goober, and right. the one damage was it. Yeah. So, what do you think? 
Okay, so first impressions, let's talk to Moye. Um, on the map, on Azuchi Castle. On Azuchi Castle. It's very hard whether or not Tomoe is going first. She definitely prefers to go first, mm. but it doesn't really matter. It's very hard it, from the little that we played it. We played a good amount. We talked a lot. We tried to reason out right. how to how to. We do got it. better as we played, of course. Sure, it, it's hard to win with Tomoe um, on Azuchi Castle. Against someone who's positioning well. Against and, someone who's yeah. positioning well. And against just aggro Oda. Aggro um, Oda is that's, vicious. He, that's really what we've kind of determined is that Oda is so... He doesn't really care about boosting. He doesn't really care even sometimes about healing so mm -hmm. much. He can. He can heal for... And his fighters in general can heal for a lot when needed. But he really just cares about outdrawing on that map specifically. Right. He can outdraw, boost to get to you, and then just attack you. And if he's attacking you with his honor guards, he's just doing massive damage to uh, Tomoe. So many of Tomoe's cards are hero focused on canceling hero effects, or, mm -hmm. or it's a five if it's a hero, right? Um, so really hard if you can if you can keep the honor guards alive as Oda, which is very easy, um, <laughs> then then you're probably going to win. Right. Uh, and if you can kill an on one honor guard as Tomoe. You that, get, like, you much drastically chance. increases your right. chance. Uh, it's a lot harder, though, to kill very them. Very difficult. <laughs> yeah, the... I mean, it was like, I attacked you. I attacked the guard every single The turn. first game we played. Both both games I played, I attacked. Uh, the, the second game, too. I, I was... Uh, no, no, I went, I went more fatigue thing. That's right, I went fatigue more. Uh, but but I, I attacked every single time. Uh, yep. It was the last game. It was the last game that I attacked you. Attack, 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 attack. You, yeah. you drew, 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 drew. You drew nine cards. Oh man, yeah. I in the I first was, like four turns. I think I was like by the end of it. And you I double. Was, you double recruited. Mm hmm. It was crazy, dude. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I I only use those. He has those three schemes that can heal all of his fighters plus one. It's yeah. like a one with a land sort of. Uh, really great card and. Good to use it for healing, but in this matchup, card draw, card draw just Huge. dominates, mm -hmm. and and Tomoe can't really. Here's the thing: like th those piercing shots become the most valuable cards in her deck, mm -hmm. and but it feels bad to play them mm -hmm. because you're trading card draw for damage against the honor guards. The honor guards are going to value block or take the piercing shots to the face and be fine. Right, and you and you and, and they probably drew. So you they probably drew. You only gain one battle card. Maneuvers. You gain one card. <laughs> right. Battle maneuvers too. Oh my gosh, what an her values underrated are rated card. Her values are low. Yes. Her values are so low. She so in the set Oda kicks butt. It on, and I think specific. On I would Azuchi love to try Castle. different maps because Azuchi Castle is big for a small map. It's a very, it's a huge small. But map. it's very easy to yeah. corral slash pin. And there's a lot of, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of, yeah. Um, so Oda, in our experience, very strong on Azuchi. Very Castle. very strong, and she was she she did not impress. But I can't wait to play her against anyone else. <laughs> anyone else. Yeah. And specifically solo fighters. Oh my gosh. She is going to be awesome into solo fighters. Yeah. And solo fighters who can't draw. Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't have card draw, you're a solo fighter, she's going to be really fun to play into, mm -hmm. uh, play as. Um, um, there were so many of her cards that say, if this opponent is a hero, then this. Which, of course, is terrible when you're trying to kill so, the, the, the sidekicks. Yeah, and, Otis, and, and they're tanky. They're tanky. They're the tankiest tanky. sidekicks ever. So it's a strange yeah. combo of them being in the same set because she is so good. She's going to be really good against um, solo. Solo. And and the 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 puzzle, which is fun in the set, is that who do you focus on? Right, because all your cards are good against hero. Oda. You want to fight Oda, but if you spend too much time fighting Oda, it's like the it's like the little red huntsman. Conundrum. Yeah. Well, not it's not even a conundrum anymore. It's you just like best you, you have much. you have to kill the huntsman because of yeah right. So yeah, but in hers, you you literally have to kill. Who? Yeah. Who do you kill? I think, and that's the thing too. Like this is still brand new. Uh, w once you kind of figure out in the set, I think who you need to focus on. We still couldn't figure it out whether or not we're supposed to. You kill. have to kill. Oh, you have I to kill. You have to kill one guard. You have to kill at least one guard. And I think the way you do that is. And the way that I did it, I think, was I double sevened. 
with I played two sevens face up with uh, not back to, not in the same yeah, turn. Didn't cheat. Didn't cheat. But in the back to back turns, yeah. um, I was running basically running away as Tamoye. Honor guard would come up. I would defend. I and then I would maneuver to draw another defense, and then I'd play seven face up. Right. And I was able to kill an honor guard that way, and barely scrape out a win. But imagine that you're—I mean, she's literally throwing her t- her highest two attacks, just best to attacks kill, to kill a sidekick. To kill a sidekick. So, uh, and oh, and the other thing too is Oda has so much like he has a good he amount of fun. auto damage. Yeah. Too like not only does are his right. attacks bonkers, he's got potentially one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It kind of the, the guards attacks. He's got potential. Yeah, the guards to attacks as well. Yeah. If he positions perfectly and plays full value with the guards, he's got essentially thirteen unblockable damage, mm-hmm. which is like a lot. Wait, so you have the three <laughs> swaps. You three have swaps. the three, the, the two twos, which is seven. Uh, yes, which could be, but it could be threes. If you're, oh, if you're in Oda's zone. You're right, 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 right. So let's, let's, let's say you did right. Let's say you so did it right. Six. So, so six plus nine plus nine. And then, no, that is nine. Yeah. yeah, nine, and then you've got the two schemes, which are Oda can move oh, yeah. as far away as he wants. It's four. And if the honor guards are yeah. flanking you, which they probably are, you're getting two auto damage. That was what I realized yeah. last night after we played, was you can't... That's why he wants to draw, that's why he wants to attack and be really aggressive. Because, well, and that's why, as the person fighting him, you have to go really quickly. You, gotta, you have to be attacking because... Given infinite time, you will die. O- Oda has Oda too much will damage. Kill you. Output. He has too much damage. Yeah, so you have to. You do have to. It's scary, but you have to fight back, yeah. which I think is cool. Which is what the whole lore I think of this thing is about. Like it's Tomoe. It's five against a thousand or something. Yeah. And Tomoe is going to stand her ground and, and fight in the face of yeah seemingly unbeatable odds. Right. The, the, the honor set, guard is scary. The set is really good. It's super it's a fun. really good set. I can't wait to play it when we get, the, get our own set. Play it more. Um, the artwork is oh, really beautiful. good. I can't wait to see in person. Person's always better than digital. Um, the artwork's really good. Um, the uh, theme of it feels yeah. really good. The theming's really good. Even the map, too. Yeah. Feels very, I like, like the map. It's... Oh, man. Okay, last, last it's two tricky. Things. It's a tricky, it's weird really map. It's weird. There's some spots that are, like, separated by a lot that are in the same zone. Mm-hmm. And the, the passageways and stuff are really weird on it. They're not, not passageways, but like just the in general, the, the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Channels. The channels, thank you, are, are really weird. Um, not great for Tomoye. Very bad map for Tomoye, I think. It's not terrible. It's not terrible because it, it, the, what Tomoye does like is she likes to have... Hard zone cut off. Well, she likes to have a zone and then none, no zones and then that the same, same zone. zone over on the other There's side. There's a couple spots on Azuchi Castle. Because it's like, if I can get you over yeah. here... In my zone, that's over there, then I'll run over there, and now when you leave, you're going to take one damage. You basically want to maneuver into your opponent's zone as much as possible. Yeah. As Tamoya uh, is the other thing. Um, so, but were you, you were saying something. Uh, uh, last, last two things. Uh, I guess opinion on the map, which we kind of already talked about. It's a really good map. Yeah. Uh, who do you prefer between the two? Initial impressions. In this set? Oda, no, hands down. Yeah, sure. Tales to Maze? Oda, hands down. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think <laughs> yeah, in, you would destroy. I think that though. I think, I think competitive one v one in competitive one v one. Who do you with prefer? all fighters? Yeah, in all maps. I think Tomoe is going to be better because you're not going to be fighting Oda every time, and I don't know who she's going to be bad into. I don't know who she's going to be good into. I don't know. I don't know that yet. But I think that she's gonna have a lot more favorable matchups than Oda will. Oda cares a lot about map. He's gonna need to get the right map. Yep. Um, but he also wants to go first. And that card draw is so so powerful. Yeah. He can, but he's like he's just a much ta- he's a tanky he's a tanky group of raptors. That's the thing. He's a super tanky group of raptors. He's a super tanky group of raptors. No action gain, but massive. Attacks. But he's gonna come around you. Yeah. And he's just gonna draw 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 and just just. Wreck your day. Oh, I want to play them both a lot. I don't. I don't, I'm, I'm super excited about this yeah. set. I don't know how they're gonna do competitively. I, I, I do think that Oda. We're gonna 
come out with a video, I think, soon that yeah. we'll be talking about this. But I think he Oda is going to be one of the most difficult fighters to play in the game, positioning-wise. Mm -hmm. um, it's so hard. It's so difficult to position. Especially if you add turn timer for like competitive play. Then yeah, then... turn timer and other maps, too. Like It's going to be really difficult to figure out exactly what to do. Uh, I think his ceiling is higher than than Tomoe is no question, but I do think Tomoe is going to be a more straightforward, still not super easy. I think Tomoe cares way more about positioning in in not cares more about it, but she's going to have to make those tougher decisions of going in, sure, and and like when do you go in and how do you get them in your like how do I get you in my zone? Yeah. How do I get into your zone? How do I get you to leave my zone? Yeah. There's a lot of that, like. Um, well, there's some fighters that won't care at all. Golden Bat, he will never leave her zone. He will just stand next to her. Mm. And just well, here's the thing: is yeah, Tomoe no does time. like he, to he be will, adjacent. Right, he'll have to leave. Tomoe is a range fighter who likes to be adjacent. But yeah. uh, I do think if she's aggressing, you're going to be incentivizing the person to run away and take auto damage. Yeah, you know, so she needs to be the aggressor. But um, I, I think I tend to agree with you. I think we're going to. I think people are going to have more success. Yeah. But the, the problem is, is like we've Tomoya can win against Oda, and Oda has potentially forty health, like net, like total with all everything, which not is including in, the plus ones, not including plus, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I could just help, okay. But just crazy, crazy. Yeah. Um, so, so okay, so uh, awesome set. It's one of the most fun sets to think about, like that has come out, mm -hmm. and like to to think puzzly about and and what yeah. would be good, what would, and like to like it's really fun. The positioning of all it was really fun. Like when Teen Spirit came out, mm -hmm. that was fun because like, oh, maps are really important. How are we gonna do, how are you gonna make it work? But that wasn't a very good set. That was like it was a good set within its set. Um, but competitively vibe like viably, like there's there's their boosts are too Basically, low, all that stuff, right? They're just too squishy, too weak. So it, it doesn't really work. But that was fun to think through. This set is, I think, gonna be competitively viable, like high B, um, probably high B mm -hmm. and Low A, like that's probably what the B throughout uh, when, it, when it all shakes out. Yeah. Uh, but to think through all the different things is going to be really fun to do. Mm -hmm. um, so Restoration Games, and as far as I know, the first set that they had like the competitive players give feedback on and play test and like really like say, hey, listen, this is busted or this is not busted or why don't we add, add some things like, like giving feedback. I think they started with Tales to Amaze. Yeah. And this was the first... Competitive like one v one set, whatever you want competitive. Uh, sure. First one v one set after Tales to Maze, and it shows. Yeah, it's very well thought out. Super well very thought technical. out. Very technical. Um, Super technical. Very balanced. This is not a nothing, set that you're gonna that say broken. to a first time player like, "Hey, go pick up this set and, and play it." No. They'll be like, "What the?" Heck? No, they'll have fun. Yeah. But they won't. They it's gonna be really hard for them to optimally, be, optimally play. Right. Just starting off so this is this is definitely the set for the person that wants to think wants to really mm -hmm. like challenge their brain and like think about positioning get better positioning oh, get dude, this set for you're sure get so good at positioning yeah um yes. but i love i love that they did that i love that the restoration games is using mm -hmm. that feedback and like in making the games better from that so i'm excited for this and the witcher i, I think they're probably doing the same thing I think it's probably being tested. I think from now here on out, they're doing that where they're using, like the competitive, high higher players. What I don't know. I hope I'm, so. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what you call them. The competitive players that they're using. Yeah. The Discord people, and they're testing the game, to get, better results, and it is showing because Tales to Amaze. Fantastic set. Incredible set. This and then one. This one is incredible. Yeah. Killer, so. Killer. Um, and it's it's two IPs that, are not like like they're not. IPs, they're, yeah, they're just, public domain. Yeah, there's they're two wrong. people, like <laughs> really good. I think they're from history, though. Really good, like feudal Japan. History. Um, well, that's it. Yeah, let me let me. Sorry, I haven't even checked out the. Uh, it's one of eight. The chats. We got five people. We got a lot of chat. Um, what do we have? So let's look at this. Slightly, we have slightly longer captain's log. Yeah, yeah, a little slightly longer captain's log. So um, we don't have a timer going. Okay, uh, Piercing has always been one of her best cards. Tomoe has a lot of good matchups you wouldn't expect. Yep, uh, and I'm excited for that. Uh, yeah. yeah, but the sidekick is literally all Oda has. Um, so, and this is all, all, all mitosis. Um, yeah. Azuchi is fine. Oda is kind of poop out of the box. Out of box. So what I think he's saying, once he gets out of the box, 
Mm. He, he falls off. Excited. Um, that's what I'm hearing, yeah. by the way. That's, that is exactly what I'm hearing. Yeah. Um, Oda's low boost values seem really rough. They that's are. The, they are really bad. That's the only thing that's going to be like. Well, the whole the whole idea is, you have three of you, right? That's the idea. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. He needs map. I'm telling you, he, he needs really map. does. I think he's he needs gonna map. Get, he's going to get Yukon, or he's going to get like. Yeah. Yeah, just like Sarpedon. Um, and then John Telepak said that that's what he said. The, the Oda's boost values are really low. So. Um, yeah, great set, guys. Go pick it up if you haven't uh, bought it yet. I already bought ours. It's coming in at some point. It'll be out there in a box. We're going to open it. Mm. Just Same crank out some games. Um, but thank you guys for watching this Captain's Log. Uh, there are more, of course, to come. Let us know in the comments what you guys want to see. Not in the chat. Not in this chat. Uh, let me know in the, the YouTube comments under the video. What do you guys... Give us some topics. What do you want us to talk about? Uh, what are some things... Um, conversations. What do you want? What are you supposed to talk about? Uh, and as always, thank you so much for uh, the crockpots. Um, we have uh, Chaya for Smash, O Town, Greg's, Vlasinski, Chick Charney, 619 Sports, and Romantic. Um, thank you guys uh, for your support. Uh, this makes it so I can do this thing and um, it just makes it a lot easier, a lot more fun. Um, if you can, not a lot more fun, it's so much fun without it, but, uh, <laughs> but it makes it it gives me an excuse to do it. Um, if you guys want to be a, a crockpot, uh, go down to patreon.com slash, I have no idea what it is, uh, Captain Crockpot, maybe? I don't know. Search me up. <laughs> uh, yeah, figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do your homework. Uh, no, but thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, this is your captain signing off.